Hello, everybody. Um, yesterday, I almost cried because of this insect. This is one of those uh, longer one, like um, how do you call this? A wasp, something, you know. And as I said, you know, since uh, they have their nest here in my room here my room the room where i live here and the morn of my father which is of the cane seed uh, he loving them to kill they he, he just uh, he was attacking me the the the, the these inside i told him why you killed her because i i saw it on the floor almost dying you know and I'm trying since yesterday to today to try to put some water some water with honey and but yesterday she could barely move but today just the the bottom part you know which pul pulses boom, 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 boom. the part where he, he has the this animal has the sting you know that pul pulses but at least yesterday she could move her, her legs somehow you know but today just pop pulses so maybe she's suffering it's painful guys to see i i've never so i i've, I've been vegan for a long time but now i switched to well for a short time to eating even meat but but then I, uh, now, now I'm kind of vegetarian, so to speak, because it's just, I, I cannot even, for me it was painful that guy. I told him, you are a beast, you know, to, to my father. And he looked at me, what? I'm a beast? Ah, she was attacking me! And so for them, guys, killing and being uh, without heart is natural, guys, for this serpent seed. And then most of them are like this. So for them, you know, caring for an animal, you know. I remember you, uh, I hope I could remember your name. The guy, nobody. Nobody, the nickname, nobody. You found this little uh, swift that you were taking care of. I hope, uh, how, how it went. I hope you managed to keep her alive. I failed, unfortunately. I mean, the more, you know, guys, since... Uh, and usually this animal, guys, they are intelligent. They usually attack morons. You know, guys? I've always been here with this uh, wasp here, guys. They would never attack me, guys. But the morons would, uh, but it's not that they attack him, guys. But he has the killing in, in his heart, you know. In Albania, guys, we used to uh, eat turkey every 31st December to celebrate the new coming year. Here's the, the wasp, maybe it's the male that now is without the female that the moron killed. What a monster. And so, and so each year we would eat turkey so in US you eat it in on Thanksgiving whatever and we eat it at the last day of the year and uh, it's it, it's funny because we also uh, in the whole city for example everybody would have their turkey and we would make them fight with each other <laughs> so it was funny the days before we killed the turkey for, for like two weeks for example we would uh, feed him and fight with other turkeys around the town, you know. That was Albania, guys, very wild, you know. <laughs> very true, you know. Very... And you'll see people around, you know, and seeing these turkeys fighting with each other, you know. Very, very beautiful, guys. And I remember one year we had a, a particularly good fighter, guys. And it was awesome, guys. He would win and uh, it was awesome, guys. And, and I remember the times when... Uh, during the day for example we would put him in the bathroom and he would pull there he would clean and we'd feed him also and the morons will feed them him a lot so he would get fat you know that morons and and 
and, and that was like raping him because they would put like a, uh, like uh, how do you call it? like uh, the thing for example the bread before you cook it you know it's like uh, like uh, like uh, soft you know I don't know how to call that they would do these things you know with uh, like this maybe they, they we did it with uh, with bread with water so it would become like uh, this sludge this uh, soft thing that you would do with the hand like this and, and you'll end up with something like this like a cylinder of bread with and, and they would stuff it in the in the uh, turkey's mouth uh, while was already alive you know the days before killing him with the hope that he would get fatter and he will eat m much more meat now more and I remember because I'm saying this because I remember one year I saw my father kill him without wanting it because he left the the door of the bathroom open and I and I was and I saw him killing the, the turkey it was painful so I guess uh, I, I'm not uh, like um, It's it's uh, it's different from these morons that love animals today, guys. That they make animals like God, you know. Uh, while you know hating people, like I've shown in my videos, guys. There's morons here in Rome protesting for animal rights, while you know putting the muzzle and everything, and people getting killed right now. So we're surrounded by animals, guys, that uh, look humans. So right now, um, I put her there, seeing how it progresses. But uh, it's uh, from from yesterday to today, it got worse. So I guess it will die because it's not moving the legs anymore. And uh, some, some, sometimes I think maybe I should kill her because it's, it's now it's suffering, you know. Because the moron just hit her with the towel, you know, and she was lying on the floor. What a monster! In fact, I I was amazed that he didn't uh, stamp also on her. What a monster, guys! Uh, so, and look at the beauty of uh, of this animal, guys, because we see them. Oh, it's just an insect. Look at the beauty here, guys. I don't know if with my resolution that I put, guys, you cannot see details, but I have a way to photograph things in great detail because I have like a, a special lens that really enlarges, you know. And so when you go in detail and, and see the beauty of uh, that God has created, this animal is so complex and so beautiful. But you know, for the morons, uh, this is just uh, something that, it's, that I have control to kill. So I, I will kill. So, so this one, guys, uh, the, I will. Uh, the main thing will be Bill Cooper, guys, because I will show you uh, a moron that uh, a horror of the system that which makes fun of Bill Cooper. And. Uh, but before going there, I had these two items, very funny guys. One that, uh, because I hear you, you are asking for some updates on the Olympics. You are very, you want to know from me. Uh, that's why you, you tuned here to Marcel Minga, because you know that you will get some update on the Olympics. And, and I got this from, uh, for an update for you on the Olympics. There was this Italian uh, uh, tennis player that uh, while he made the mistake of playing tennis he said I am a faggot I am a faggot say un frasho say un frasho which of course in this day and age you should be crucified for doing that and so they did all Italy is against him now oh, how dare he said that and he of course he asked forgiveness I love the LGBT community. Please, l l please don't. Uh, sorry, sorry. You know they are whores, guys. You know. 
it, it was the heat that uh, made me uh, say this stupid thing. Uh, I, I didn't want to offend the sensibility. I love the LGBT community. And for, I ask forgiveness for what I did. Okay. And here is in, in English. Uh, uh, Fabio Fognini. After repeatedly <laughs> shouting "faggot" <laughs> during his uh, match against a Russian, a tennis player yelled an "anti-gay slurs at the Olympics." Tennis star of Lucifer blames it for homophobic remarks. <laughs> uh, repeatedly used a homophobic slur during. Tennis player. No, this is an old one. So, uh, also, this is the second item, and then we'll go to the video of this interview. Did you know that we are. Uh, this is overshoot day. The, the reptilians, you know, they have come up with this uh, overshoot day. Overshoot day because we are. Uh, using too much resources. We should be slaves, you know. How dare you consume resources? You know? It's like uh, a zebra goes to another zebra and says to her, How dare you eat grass? But uh, with humans, is this can, can work because they are morons, the majority of them. And so here it is, you know, before we used to consume, we need that one earth was enough in 71, you know. For, for, the way we were consuming, yeah. But as soon as uh, we moved uh, here, uh, guys, uh, we need one one Earth and and uh, three quarters for our needs. Okay, Look, if all the world uh, consumed like the USA, we would need five Earths. Earths. Uh, 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 uh. Like Australia, oh, look at the Australian man, you filthy pigs, you consume a lot, you slaves, you should reduce your consumers, I'm telling you. Russia uh, also, three earths, almost, Germany also, and here is, you know, look, poor India, poor India. India consumes only less than one earth consumer. We are very good slaves already, so we don't need. Mm. Okay, okay. Now, uh, but I wonder how much earth we would uh, need if we all consumed like uh, a filthy reptilian with their castles and everything. These are questions that will never get an answer. So now let's go to the main uh, story of the day. While I was surfing the internet, going for my day, just innocently surfing the internet, <laughs> looking for <laughs> for things, uh, I come across the, this article that talk about Bill Cooper, and it was done by. Rolling Stone, as I was, let me read this. Let me read, you know, what uh, Satan had to to say about uh, about the my hero. Let's see for, for what it is, you know, the granddaddy of American conspiracy theorist. And now I will show you this interview, guys, where this moron, this whore, uh, journalist Mark Jacobson. Uh, makes fun of Bill Cooper and everything, of course. Uh, decade, decades before QAnon, false flags, crisis actors, in, in quotation marks, like they don't exist, and Alex Jones, there was uh, William Cooper, an exclusive excerpt from uh, this book that this whore wrote, you guys. So I put Mark Jacobson, because I wanted to see his face, because after I read the article, you know, could you please because he was kind of polite in this article you know with him 
he was saying like you know uh, even a, a broken clock uh, twice a day is right you know but he didn't said more more than this in this article and so i said let me see if there's a way to see this more on like life you know talking you know with his mouth and i and i found this interview guys now first, first of all let's see the morning question guys. the horror sorry not, not the morning the horror guys the the demon in question guys and 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 you can see guys that uh, he, though so here's the, the book that he's promoting everywhere oh this was a couple of years ago but again pale horse rider william cooper the rise of conspiracy and the fall of uh, uh, trust in america something like this see who is inviting him guys this demon here and this other moron here demon here faces and and uh, things around the background everything tell you so much guys if you have eyes to see look at the posture guys the body speaks a whore someone without a spine guys has this posture this is the one in the middle guys and what about the morons around them that's why lately i've been using pictures guys and, and no more t less talk because of pictures talk so much guys if you have eyes to see i mean just look at the posture of this journalist guys you know just like without a spine because he was always bending you know for, to the reptilian you know giving his ass and licking his dick you know of the reptilian you know? and, and and you end up like this you know without the spine you know with this posture here and with the book you know that the reptilian makes you write here's faces talk so much guys look at the faces guys look at these demons guys the, uh, the, the journalist in question is Super Mario here look at the faces guys this looks like like a bully in the school guys look look at these monsters guys they write for a Rolling Stone what monsters so now let's hear what this monster had to say about Bill Cooper guys should I use VLC yes because I have no way to stop otherwise so let me let me go here try to run this thing here because my computer as soon as I start VLC gets crazy so what I will do guys I will list all because they are like uh, small sections that I had to record with my phone guys and no it's not that I fix my phone guys it's, uh, I would use this this baby here guys Nokia with all physical keys guys you know? oh, I love this phone guys but, but the quality is very bad but uh, you know this phone got me through these days without my smartphone guys because uh, you can't uh, read AMR which is what I download on on the internet because I have a very slow connection here and I download only audio and this phone can read the AMR and I'm I'm fine with that Can you hear this? So this is the other bee that is still like flapping her wings on the wood here and makes this noise. They like this to do this. And I hope I will give uh, maybe it's the male or the female the other partner back. I hope I'll, she will get better. What can I say? So are you ready for the demon guys? Because he let's hear first if i got sound and everything uh, let's see bill cooper is a guy who now the, the the reptilian will tell us what bill cooper was a guy who should you felt the pig look at the monster guy look now remember guys the quality is, is very bad because i recorded with my nokia guys which is a very old phone and uh let me go here guys i hate when i say that but by just making fun of this 
So, so let's uh, and uh, Brandon. I hope I, I will not forget. Uh, you know, I gave you a link to download all the broadcast of Bill Cooper, and 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 also get this, guys. It's harder to 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 find uh, Bill Cooper stuff. It's not like easy like before, guys. I don't know if the system is because torrent now are becoming hard. You know, they are closing all. Uh, sites that uh, down but again it's it's more that the people do not care anymore in my opinion but it's getting harder to get because i want to give you uh brandon a, a torrent file which has like this look this is what i have a bill cooper man let me show you is divided by ear and the name the name is look at this Bill Cooper, Hour of the Time, all broadcasts. I tried to f find it for you, you know, this torrent, but I couldn't find it anymore. But wh what I gave you is a website, Hour of the Time, which has... So you have to go one by one, you know, but this torrent was good because it has a whole collection. But again, it's, you can still hear it, but you just have to listen one by one there's no way to download the whole thing otherwise there's an, on archive.net dot com whatever it is there are some compilations where you can download the whole thing with a torrent you know so look how how, how I have it like every year from 93 to 2001 and if you go to 93 for example you have all the years here all the months uh, and uh, if you go inside you have of what of that month you know the all the broadcasts you know and again this is not a hundred percent complete so the rest you you go to that website that I give the link you and, and there you will see the whole catalog and if you see that for example you can't find something you, you will find it on YouTube because some rare broadcasts were uploaded on YouTube so so this is what I had, man. I had this torrent, and now I, I, I have it saved, backup and everything. But it's getting rare to have this uh, whole collection now. But again, if, if you want, guys, you you have the ways to find things. So, so that's the thing, guys. The problem is people do not really want. If you want, information is there. So let's uh, hear the demon, guys, talking about Bill Cooper. He just wrote a book where he makes fun of Bill Cooper, but not you know, make fun. He, he, in a very, you know, polite way. But when you hear what he says here in this interview, there's no, there's no doubt. You know, he was making fun of him. So, come on, whore, would you talk? Well, um, uh, it's generally considered to be a conspiracy nut, and um, he was. <laughs> Bill Cooper was considered a conspiracy nut. And he was. <laughs> but, but, but he had a lot to say, and that's the reason why I spent all this time working on this book, because I thought it was an interesting... No, not because you thought. You spent all this time writing this book because the reptilian showed you his dick, and you had to lick it because he gives you money. So that's why you wrote the book. Okay? <sighs> you monster. So I spent... I was listening to these interviews with speed, in, uh, very fast, because I'd want to go through information fast, guys. There's no time, you know. And so he's not, he speaks slower than what you will hear now. So this was the first section. I have like five sections like this, and let's listen to the next one. He said, because once the right wing guys sm started smoking pot, they began to get more as paranoid as the left wing guys. Because, and then they began to like think that the world was kind of. So he he's making fun of you know all the conspiracy people you know conspiracy people people you know looking for the truth you know not believing the main uh, shit that they give to us you know uh, the, the narrative you know and so he's 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 making fun of them and and this happens because because they were saying how come you know all of a sudden the right wing you know that where they were like conservative and dumb you know all of a sudden got into this conspiracies and all things yes because uh they also now got drugs and started to smoke and that's why they think this bullshit of conspiracies 
because as, as time changed and the culture began to change, the right wing, right wing people began to feel, you know, uh, I mean, the, the ultimate, uh, the ultimate outcome of this was the election of Donald Trump. You know, those those people that were paranoid enough to think that Donald Trump is going to save them from the Illuminati, as as represented by Hillary Clinton, which is a reasonable point of view, I think. Actually, <laughs> so, um, but. It, you spent a lot of time with, with one of his main disciples, you're kind of the keeper of his archives or something. Doyle, yes. So talk about him. Well, Doyle is actually running for Congress now. He's like running for the... Uh... Guys, did you hear what he's, he was saying? He, he, they were talking about Doyle, guys. And Doyle now runs for, for, for Congress. So, uh, how's your name? Brandon. Maybe he... Uh, was the spy that uh, got him killed and everything this doll guy that, that that he trusted you know L let's hear again archives or something doyle is so uh, talk about him well doyle is actually running for congress now he's like running for the uh he's, he's, if he wins this election he will be the state senator with the largest single territory in the united states geographical yeah. next one without giving away whatever the ending was so someone is asking what happened to him you know the killing there and everything you know how the he was killed and, uh, and everything let's listen to what the monster says so someone is asking about the killing of bill cooper what was the story with the sheriffs or the feds and coming and killing him? well i mean my, my take on it is that it was one of the most complicated suicide by cop things that ever could possibly been devised because um he really uh, my confidant in this, this guy named Doyle Shamley, who Danny referred to, said that Bill had told him, like, you know, well, at least I could be a martyr. And then he was desperate for the feds to come up there and shoot it out with him, but the feds had already gone through Waco and Ruby Ridge. And so he was desperate to, to become a martyr and f the feds to get and kill him. Can you, can you hear this? What a monster guy. <laughs> Amazing. This kind of stuff, which is detailed in the book. And they didn't want to duke it out with this guy. I mean, for several reasons, because people are going to get killed. And then later, so Cooper was up there, and this is completely debatable about what really happened, but one day he went, the town that he lives in is almost all Mormons. So he goes, decides that he's going to, and he, he would often, if people came, he lived on top of this hill, and if anybody came on the top of the hill, he would chase them away, even though he didn't own the property. You know, so he was, under, he was getting crazy, and he was under the delusion that he owned this entire mountain, which is about 200 feet tall. So like, um, and uh, so the, the guy, a guy named um, Scott Hamlin, who's a town doctor, who's the current president of the Mormon stake, which is in, the, in Arizona, you know, came up there with his young family, this is like, Corey, we're talking about 15 years ago, 17 years ago, and he was just watching the sunset because it's the best view in the whole town. And so Bill Cooper came out and chased him down to his home, just kind of like rode in his pickup truck, tailgating the whole way down there, and said, if you come on my property again, I'm going to kill you. And he pointed his gun at the guy, and the guy's like, you know, whoa. And, um, you know, he's, he's, he's the, the Hamlins were the, most, are the best known Mormon family in that whole area. I mean, they're like royalty, Mormon royalty. I mean, I don't know how to say it. I don't want to besmirch their thing, but, you know, he's a big shot. So you couldn't have picked a worse guy or a better guy to do this to, you know? And at that point, it was inevitable that somebody had to do something about this madman who lived on the hill. I mean, in fact, the, the high school students used to go out there and, and make a lot of noise just to see if they could get Bill Cooper to come out there and chase them away. Oh, this is a lie, guys, you know, because they used, you know, the, the agents were, were dressed like uh, teens, you know, like, you know, yeah. Uh, young people and go there with uh, loud music for, from what I've heard guys I don't know if this is true but he's making it like you know, people wanted to, to, to get out this madman you know this just serpents guy these monsters and the fact guys that uh, a journalist you know uh, is pushed by the reptilian controlling the rolling stones you know reptilian stones uh, to uh, to push one of his servants to make a book so he spent like two years to write this book guys to, to find information and to, to, to spit lies about Bill Cooper you know just tells you guys that maybe listen to Bill Cooper you are on the right track you know because if the system is making fun of him and writes a book where they make fun of him and everything calling him a madman that wanted to own the old mountain you know the all exaggerated bullshit you know that they say you know lies professional liars guys so let's le listen more from this monster you know because this is near the end of his career he's really losing his mind yes ratso you have a question ratso yeah um i'm curious what were his religious beliefs was he uh um... hey, do you have a question ransom these are all people that he knows there the question in him guys all of them and in fact later a, a, a piece of shit that has made a documentary about bill cooper which is one of his buddies you know 
uh, makes him a question. So they are all chosen people that are questioning this whore, guys. They could not have people like me there to ask questions or to throw some, some tomatoes in, in the face of this monster. Guys, these demons, these pieces of shit. So now another whore like him is making a question to the whore. So, so guess how, how profound the question will be. Or how fixed uh, the whole thing. One of the question, was he agnostic? Was he anti religious well, He used to say that he believed in the... He's, one of his great quotes, I thought, was he believed in the words of Jesus Christ as written in red and a Bible found in a drawer in a motel room. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, you know, I think he was a... You know, I think he had really... He claimed to be a Christian because, I mean, he's trying to make a living on right-wing Christian radio. I mean, you're not going to say you're not a Christian. But I think it was like, you know, he's half a... The thing about him is, like, he always was trying to make a living. He was a half a huckster. That's what made him. He was like half a huckster, half a prophet, 100% American I mean, to me. You know, and that's really what he was. That's what he was seeking. And uh, So, did you hear the serpent, guys? Did you hear the serpent, guys? He was trying to make a living, you know, he, he faked he was a Christian because uh, he was, you know, broadcasting to the Christians, you know, so to make some money. What a piece of shit. That's why, guys, you have to do like Bill said, guys. You don't trust people, guys. Go to the source. Go listen to the whole broadcast that I showed here. And then you can make up your own mind, you know. But the problem is, most of people, you know, just go through... What experts say? Ah, this was a fun. This more just wanted to make money. He was a bit crazy. Lived in the mountain and chased people. Uh, he, uh, if the uh, people approached him, ah, so he was crazy. Let me, get, let me get away from. If you do like this, you know, they are fine. You know, you trust these whores, you know, the uh, experts. So go and listen for yourself. So now the last one is is, is good, guys. So let's hear. Um. He found that the only way he felt that the only way to uh, find freedom was to defeat the enemies of freedom, which which went through first it was the aliens from outer space that were like you know meant us no way good, and then there was the secret societies with the Freemasons who were trying to screw you over, and then there were like all these different groups and the government of course you know and these kind of things that were like good. the government of course, guys what a piece of shit. So let me try to fix the webcam. Okay, on and off. Two, three, two, three, yes. Now it's working. So, oh, the aliens are attacking us. Oh, the Freemasons are uh, like making fun of because he, he was. Uh, he never said the aliens guys were attacking us. What a piece of shit, guys. What a demon. Oh, the government. Has no, no, it's not that they are killing us right now, guys. I mean, j just a whore could. could, could not have some doubts on the on the reptilians in suit and suit and tie in, in the television guys just just uh, just a journalist they interfere with the freedom of the, of the individual the individual i mean that's the curse and the glory of america individual freedom and this guy wanted it and he couldn't find it and um he searched for it much harder than most people do and that's really why i, I think that's really the main reason i wanted to write this book i mean here's a guy as wacky as he was and it's kind of like T class A as he was, I mean, he was really searching for freedom, and um, I think you find the roots of what's going on now in that search. I mean, that kind of thing we were talking about the other night, like when we were all hippies. I mean, it was a hip and straight, and the straight guys were all fucked up, and the hip guys were good, you know. And that and and that same dichotomy of, you know, is what got Donald Trump elected. So you know, um, and, and those kind of things run through the society, and it's going to always run through the society because I don't see how you fix it. But um, unless you can figure it out. Uh, Unless you can figure it out, you know, how to fix this thing of people not believing the main narrative, guys. Then they are laughing, their reptilians are laughing with each other, you know, on how to fix people that do not believe us. Yes, now it's coming back, the video. So guys, the, the reptilians uh, are telling you that they want to fix us. B conspiracy nuts, guys, for not believing their lies. So if you don't want to, to get fixed by them, guys, uh, believe their lies, go see their stuff, read their beautiful books, and everything will smile at you. Otherwise, guys, prepare, be strong, because for the moment they are only saying this, that they want to fix us. But at some point they will 
actually try to fix us guys fix our mind because we are not functional for their agenda it's so, okay guys that was a short one I found this jewel here this whore here and uh, it was uh, I not say what I had in mind to say <laughs> so see you on the next one guys. let me see how do you stop this like this? I hope this time, you know, because I don't have extra videos to give to you, and this doesn't.